Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Rhino Gear screen protector on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, please follow these instructions so you can get the most out of your screen protector installation. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to turn off the device. Okay, so as you guys know, this is a wet install screen protector. So the first thing we need to do is to prepare the application solution, which is basically just dish soap and water. So if you have a bowl or a cup, just like this one, let's go ahead and fill it up with water. And we're just gonna put about half a teaspoon of soap, just like that. Put it in there and stir. And just like that. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that if you have a spray bottle, just like this one, uh, you can put the solution in there too. Um, but basically it works uh, either way. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install it, uh, you know, just using the liquid in this cup or using a spray bottle. So the next step is to clean the Galaxy Note 9 screen. So using the microfiber cloth, go ahead and wipe off any dust or fingerprints or any kind of dirt that's already on there. You can also use a piece of scotch tape like this one to pick up any small little dust particles that won't come off. So you can just pick them up like this. And there you go. The next step is to peel off the screen protector from the backing paper. Um, you can also dip your fingers in the solution. This is just so that the, fin uh, the, the film doesn't stick to your fingers while you're working with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then just go ahead and peel it off just like sticker. So you can see the film is pretty hazy or blurry. Uh, that's normal. That's because the film is designed to activate uh, once you get the application solution on it. Once it activates, it'll take uh, some drying time. And once it dries, it will become clear. And I'm going to show you guys that later towards the end of the video. Okay, so the next step is to take the film and if you're using a cup or a bowl, just go ahead and dip the film in there. Okay. And shake off any excess dripping liquid. Okay, now if you're using a spray bottle, like this one right here, uh, just go ahead and uh, hold the film on the palm of your hand just like this and go ahead and start spraying and turn it around and get some solution in that side too and turn it back around and I'm going to go ahead and put some more solution on the adhesive side. Uh, now it helps to have your hands uh, wet with the solution as well so that way it doesn't stick onto the film and create uh, fingerprints. Okay so the next step is to apply the film onto the Galaxy Note 9 screen. So we're just going to take the film like this and lay it down flat. Okay. 
Now, at this point, the film should still be able to slide around. So you can see, I can slide around like that. And that's because uh, the solution is still wet. Once it starts drying, it's going to start sticking to the screen. So at this time, this is the best time to position the film to the center as much as possible. So. Okay. So, as we all know, the Galaxy Note 9 has uh, curved edges. So, as you can see, the edges are still lifted on the side. And I'm going to show you how to deal with that later. Uh, and then basically, we just have to wait for it to dry a bit and we can start sticking the curved edges down. Um, but I will show you that in a few minutes. Okay, so the next step is to get these bubbles out of the way. Um, basically, uh, you do that while the film is still fairly wet and can still move around. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold one uh, side of the film. We're going to hold it down like this and then we're just going to start pushing these large bubbles out of the way. The best way is to hold it and uh, use the card to push away from your fingers. Just like that. Okay. So the goal is to get the film as flat as possible onto the Galaxy Note 9 screen. Yeah. All right, so at this point, there's still a little bit of bubbles over here, so I'm going to go ahead and just push it out just like that. So at this point, the film is still wet and we can still move the film around. We're going to go ahead and recenter it back. Just like that and we're just gonna leave it there for a few minutes and let it dry um, and then we're gonna start working on uh, sticking the corners and the sides down okay so it's been about 12 minutes uh, since the last step and I just wanted to show you guys how the film currently looks like uh, if you see right now it's starting to settle on there and I test that by putting my finger uh, on top of the screen like this and just kind of pushing back and forth. If the film still slides around, it means that it's still uh, too wet. So if that happens, uh, just uh, just let it sit there for a bit more and, uh, and just let it dry. If you can see, uh, the bottom part actually can still slide around a bit. So I'm just going to let it sit here for... A few more minutes and just let it dry and then after that we can start sticking the edges down okay so it's been about 30 minutes uh, since the last step now uh, the drying time usually would uh, depend on a couple of factors uh, one is how much solution uh, was there in the first place and two uh, it's usually uh, the temperature uh, or the humidity in the room that you're doing the installation in. So in this case, uh, for me, I started pressing this side down. And as you can see, it started to stick. So, you know, then this is after about 30 minutes and uh, it's probably ready to go right now. So I'm going to show you guys how to start sticking the sides down. So basically, you can just start pressing down like this and what you can do is you can also just place your thumb like that
Now if you can see, this corner is still lifted up a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of push it down with my thumb, like that, for a few seconds. go. So just run your thumb down along the edges. Make sure the film sticks. Sometimes what I do is I just take my finger and I will just use that to press on the edge just like that. Okay so now Let's work on this side. So same thing, start pressing it down. Now again, if you're having a hard time uh, getting the sides to stick, it basically just means that the film is still too wet. So all you need to do is wait a few more minutes and then try again. But in this case, uh, it's already starting to stick. So there it is. As you can see, it's pretty much uh, sticking to the sides and corners already. Now, if you can see this part over here, it's still lifting a bit. So we're just going to go ahead and press it down. And do it on this side too. Just for a few seconds, and there you go. Okay, so now we're just gonna set it back down over here, let it dry for a little bit more. Also, if you can see, there are still some micro bubbles or haziness uh, present underneath the film. Um, these are normal. These are gonna disappear, uh, start disappearing in about one or two hours uh, and they will completely disappear in, well, I would say one or two days. Um, and as you can see, uh, all these marks over here are usually just dried up solution, which we're gonna clean up later when it's fully dry. Uh, so now, I'm just going to let it sit here and just let it fully cure onto the Galaxy Note 9 screen. Okay, so it is now the morning of the following day and I just want to show you guys the finished results of our installation. Uh, as, as you can see, the film is pretty much dried already and it's uh, adhering to the screen. So all you need is a little bit of that solution. Just uh, put a little bit of it on the microfiber cloth. That's all you need, pretty much. Or if you have a spray, you can just go ahead and spray some of it on there. So. We're going to go ahead and clean it up. Go ahead and turn it on. So I want to show you guys the touch functionality. And that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and take some close-up pictures and post it at the end of this video. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, thank you and have a good day.